Hey, what's up everybody? Here to do another review. This time is the 1000 Toys 112 scale Robox black and white special color edition. Got them while I was at SDCC, haven't had time to review them. So we're gonna jump into this. If you've seen my previous review of the Robox, you already know what to expect. There's not too much different with it, but it's something special that they throw in and I'm gonna jump right into that. Um, I'm not gonna transform the black one because I'm gonna show off his articulation and then I'm gonna transform the white one so you guys can see the transformation again. The Robox itself has a great amount of articulation and range and it's full blown fun. As you can see with the black one, who I have transformed already, it's just a cool robot design. If you if it's something that uh, you wanna just have that's cool and different, then Robox is definitely where it's at. As you can see, you can twist and rotate the head all the way through and around. It goes up, it goes down, it can tuck in. You kind of get the Johnny Number no. 5 vibes from it. If you uh, have old enough to remember Short Circuit. Uh, the arm articulation, as far as the shoulder, it actually rotates all the way up and through. It rotates back and forth. There's also a bicep swivel here. There's a forearm swivel, and it rotates all the way through and around. And the claw actually rotates around, and it comes up and down as well. The chest area rotates right here at the waist. Legs can go up about this far and this far down and around. But you can obviously pop them off and do whatever you want. You can try something different. You can do all sorts of stuff where you can literally try a bunch of different things. Uh, if you want to see him high jump kick, all that stuff is possible. So as you can see here, you can get your high jump kick on with your Robux. So you're never without uh, articulation. The legs can go up about this far. It is not double jointed. It's a single joint. It rotates all the way down and through. But it can rotate uh, all the way through and around. 360 degrees here at the kneecap. The ankle pivot is because it partly is, uh, and because of the, tra the transformation. There's toe pivot as well. So you can actually get Robux into a bunch of different configurations and or transformations. And it's a really good look. <laughs> like, you can do a ton of cool poses with Robux that you wouldn't expect to be done all if you have the patience. So it's kind of like one of those things with uh, a Revolve Tech or a Sentinel piece where if you have the patience for it, you can easily do it. As you can see here, I can transform them. The Robux is equipped with two guns. One you can equip um, on either side of the leg. There's one of them right here. And those actually go like this. And they equip with the little claw on the outside for one hand and a big claw to accept it and change it. You can actually equip it uh, hand to hand, so it depends. This one would have to be in the other one, but it depends on how you want to do it, so it doesn't really matter. But as you can see, they balance really well. They stand up pretty well. You can do a lot. The shield clips on here where the two pieces latch at. So what you do is you find the piece that matches right here. And voila. So now you have Robux with shield and you can pretty much do whatever you want now. You can make him a disposable assassin. You can make him uh, just a plain old Robux worker, a security guard, all sorts of things. Like it all depends on what you want. And that's kind of the best thing about these. Ooh. You can pretty much do what you want. And like I said, you can find a bunch of different configurations where it doesn't have to be a robot or a box. He can be a gun or a weapon or a cage, whatever one you want to work on. So with the white one, real quick, I'm going to do a quick transformation so you guys can see what's going on. As you can see, this is it in box mode. Robux. First thing you do is help pop off the shield by pulling off the tabs, pulling away from the tabs. You rotate the arms up. So the claws can come around and through. Oop, forgot you can do that. So you can swap arm parts. Uh, you pull the arms up. You pull the legs out. And I am just a little too strong. I clearly see that. You pull the legs out. <laughs> so that's twice now. So you pull the legs out from the lower half. And have them rotate through. Let me put this back in so you guys can see what's going on. You pull this tab out as you can see it comes out just a little and you want to rotate this in so the legs are in Oop. and rotate the leg around so do that with the other leg 
I'm being crazy right now. Push it back in when you're done. Rotate the leg around. Rotate this down and around. Rotate to where the knees meet. So that way you don't have to worry about him uh, being buck kneed. <laughs> he him or, him or her. You rotate the arms down. Easy transformation. Nothing too difficult. Open up the chest. Pull the robox parts up for the head. And voila on the chest. Very simple transformation. Not something that's too crazy. But uh, you pull the parts uh, apart and they come apart. It's not something you should stress over. As you can see, they're really easy. They look really nice. One of the things that set this apart from their green counterpart, which I'll have here. So now we have all three. So the something that sets them apart is that uh, the black and white Robux come with respective decals. For black Robux, you actually, and white one as well, you need to insert their eyes individually. So you use some Tommy and cement. I didn't equip mine's in, but as you can see here, he doesn't have his pilot uh, eyes. I'm going to Tommy and cement those in, make sure they stay. I would not recommend glue because it can sometimes eat through plastic, so be careful. Is that with Robux black and white, you get specialty decals. These decals goes for the black one. As you can see, his decals are white, so that way you can just put them on him. They're really nice, and there are a ton of decals to talk about. Robux, Toa Heavy Industries, Biohazard ones, bunch of different stuff. Security hazards. There's a bunch of different things that you can customize your Robux to the point you'll, you know, it, you'll recognize yours from somebody else's which is part of the fun. As you can see here, this is for the white Robux, who has black decals to go all over him. There's no point to put white on white decals. You wouldn't be able to see them. So as you can see here, you can see them more clearly. There's skulls, there's toy heavy indices, there's specialty designs that you can actually add. It's really, really dope that they added all this in. It's a lot of customization, a lot of skill to it. So I am a big fan of these. So real quick, I'm gonna do a Robux size comparison with a bunch of other lines so you guys can see what's going on also again shout out to 1000 toys i appreciate you for reaching out and i appreciate you guys hanging out with me at sdcc so uh hope to see you guys again soon shout out to toy pizza as well my guys from new york nick i know you're gonna watch this eventually real quick we're gonna do some size comparison here is actually i don't need i don't, I don't need one robux for this but here is the robux next to a synthetic human as you can see, size-wise, these guys line up very well within their own scale, as you clearly can see. Here they are next to an articulated Icons Ninja. All scale very well so far. Next to a Marvel Legends. So Spider-Man actually scales even well with them. Uh, his feet's a little uneven. So let's get up. There we go. So Spider-Man scales a little well with them. Nothing too crazy. Next to Kamen Rider stuff. SHF. So Robux goes in pretty well so far with everything. Let's see what it looks like with a Mezco. So, so far the Robux scales pretty well with just about everything. Doesn't seem a little too out of place. Last but not least, my favorite one to just rumble things up, a Storm Collectible. So if Alex decides to power bomb Robux, is totally fine. But yeah. All in all, I'm really enjoying the creativity of 1000 Toys, the cool uniqueness that is, comes along with it as well, and just the fun that you can have with it. If you like Robux, if you like 1000 Toys, I say reach out to them, write, hey, or make these uh, some different ones, make a normal release. I know these ones are convention exclusives, so if you miss out, it kind of is, uh, it's really crappy, but I'm pretty sure they're open to making more in different colors, so reach out to them. Maybe we'll get a red one, which I would love a red one. I would absolutely love a red one, but yeah. Reach out, say hi, hit them up on Instagram, send some nice emails. Uh, in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoy. Hope you found this informative. Hope you enjoy the photos at the end. And as usual, be good, do good, drink your water. Later.